All right, let's go. We're going to go through this game real quick because it's 2 a.m. We just want to get the opening done, little trades off, blah, 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 blah. E5. All right, action time. Let's get busy. White is playing. Okay, we know it was a Sicilian, Dragonberry, and blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Anyway, now we're into the real good stuff. So E5 on the board. And black plays a little bit of tape. And white plays a little bit of tape. Now, this position is sharp. The word is sharp. White is trying to go at black right away. But white has created an isolated pawn in the center of the board. And black has to be magnificently careful about what to do next. Turns out the attack is, is going to be something fierce. Fierce. Did you hear the word fierce come at you? Fierce. But white has to be specific. The real reason why white has this black has this trouble is that this knight cannot go back to this square. Just can't. What the knight probably would like to do is play this move. Unfortunately, knight takes knight, and your queen's hanging. And if you play queen takes queen, we do one of the little reversos. That's a basic tactic you probably have seen. All right, so you can't do that. There's also a little knight d5 action that you would like to do. And in fact, it's probably the best move on the board. Knight takes knight cannot be answered by queen takes. All right. So centralize, centralize, centralize. But black saw a fat, juicy, delicious pawn in the middle of the board, nice and isolated, and said, what happens if I drop back and tricky dicky on the pawn on e5? I got a trifecta of pieces hitting that pawn. And I only see one defender. I'm going to take it. That's my pawn. That's, that's mine. That's my pawn. You might want to push it. You can push it if you like. I mean, I'll take it on the next move. Maybe I'll hit you with this. And I'll take it on the next move. Frankly, that's going to be pure compensation for white. Because white's going to have him like a bishop g4 action. But, okay. Black should have been smarter than this. Than to think naively. Because e6 is a thematic idea cracking the pawn structure. Except white is a gangst gangster. Okay? And play. White looked at this position and said, I could play the positional e6. I could play the positional e6. But you know what? I have an idea. And white... In this position, are you ready for this? Instead of knight d5, which black should have done, black played knight d7. Blunderifica sighting because guess what white did next move? White said, boom! <laughs> Yo, when a rook shows up in your position, <laughs> party at your king's house. I hit him. What? <laughs> yes, sir, Rebob. We're hitting you in your face. Now, Black understood that king takes is possible. But we're going to drop a little e6 action at your king's. Uh, make sure you know what you know. All right. We're taking this. <laughs> with We're going e6 check. If you take. What are you doing to yourself? Bring your king up. Oh, my goodness. We don't want to look at any more variations. We just don't want to look. It's blood. blood. We don't want to look. We don't want. We don't want to look at any variations. No variations, please. Stop showing these variations, Maurice. They're blinding our eyes. They're blinding us. Uh, Bishop C4, don't, don't, please don't show any more of these variations. Please stop. Don't show these variations. They're, oh my gosh. Don't, don't show these ridiculous variations. Please don't do it. Don't, don't, don't do it. We could have put the bishop, the rook in the way, but I mean the bishop in the way. Don't show these variations. We don't want to look at that. So E6 check. Gotta go hide. Give us more food. Oh my goodness. This is getting ugly. Don't forget, we got stuff coming all the way down to hurt your feelings. Mm. You're saying like, but if I take? First, we'll start with a check. We'll just make sure you know where we're going. Uh, you hide in the corner. Good idea. Uh, give us this. Let's check you again. We just want your king to enjoy this party. Uh, you're going to try to hide. That's That's... Hmm, an interesting concept. Given that our rook can take your bishop at any time, we can just move our queen out of the way. We'll take this next. We'll have a bishop and a knight. We're going to school your pieces, and that's going to be Johnny Ballgame. I'm just saying. You can do this. We can take that. 
Uh, you can take every. You could do whatever you like. Now, those of you who think this position is maybe close, it's not close. These two pieces beat up this rook all day. Plus, there's a rook on the seventh, wreaking havoc. So that's a beatdown. So rook takes f7. Boom. Mm. So black said, "I'm not taking that. I'm not taking that. <laughs> you could keep it. I'm gonna take this. All right. I'm gonna take this. By the way, you might ask." Why not play knight takes? I mean, knight takes makes a lot of sense, right? I think it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, if you want to die, <laughs> if you just want to get schooled. <laughs> okay, pin him and win him. Pin him and win him. So don't play knight takes. That's a bad idea. So bishop takes. Getting the bishop out of the way. No sacrifices. All right, now the rook's hanging for the moment until white said... No, no, that was just for a hot second, all right? Hot second. Now, White has sacked a rook, but it turns out White didn't really sack a rook. So, you know, have you ever had that feeling like, I just hit the guy with something, I just hit him, huh? And then he's like, um, I'm not taking that. I'm doing something else. You're like, damn, he's for my party, yo. I was trying to do the kill. He's for my party, you know, right? You know what? I'm going to keep the attack going. Bishop to C4 is that move. Now, we got some diagonal deviousness devilishness so he said we're gonna shut the diagonal down all right we're gonna shut it down shut it shut it down tisker tasker much appreciated slice serve absolutely appreciated thank you very much e6 that's a lot that's a lot i'm feeling you i'm feeling you thank you so much is that st louis who doing this because i'm seeing i'm seeing things i'm seeing things all right let's keep it going so bishop to c4. What is all this love that's happening right now? There's a lot of love going on. Just everywhere, people just showing love. I'm feeling it. Feeling it. E6. So now, the rook's hanging. Let's protect it. Double up. Double up right now, right now. Now, there are many of you who might be thinking right now, you know what? This clown is trying to attack me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trade off pieces very, very quickly. This one, unfortunately, gets smacked in the face. <laughs> Boo, we feel bad for you. No, we don't. We lied. <laughs> we don't feel bad for you at all. However, queen b6. That's another one. Trying to trade. Bing! Hello. Wake up and smell the Turkish coffee. Bing, bing, bing. Another one bites the dust. It's a piece. It's check. You can trade queens. You ain't trading queens. No, no, no. When rooks are on the seventh, you got to be scared. You're not trading anything off. So, what did black do here in this position after rook to uh, f1? Rook here. Now, by the way, there was another move in this position that's kind of cray-cray. Engines play cray-cray moves. The move B4. I don't even want to show it. It's just so ridiculous. B4. Trying to deflect. All right? The point being, if you take on this square, boom, hit again. Bishop's hanging. Bishop's hanging. Bishop takes. Boom. Oh, I can take your bishop. Yeah, you keep doing that with mate threats in your face. Okay? It's wild. It's a wild line. That's why I can play queen c7. Nobody's playing like this except the engine. So rook to f1. We got the double barrel. All right? We got the potential rook takes. Maybe. But what we really want to do is drop the queen in the house. That's what white really wants to do. So black played rook to d8. And now, if any of you find the next move, if any of you find the next move, we're going to start calling you Abhimanyu Mishra. It's white's turn to move. What should white do now? What should white do now? I didn't miss a mate. The queen was pinned. Queen was pinned. What should white do right now? What's the best move? White should play queen h6, bishop e6, knight d5, king h1, queen h6, one. Well, the mini spoiler, in the mini spoiler, I saw rook f8, queen h6, a6, blah, 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 blah. Some people have quick eyes. I'm impressed. Some people have very quick eyes. That you saw that in the mini spoiler. I'm impressed. That your eyes are that quick. Or you rewound to... No, you can't. Maybe you did. Maybe you didn't. 
mini spoiler if you want to actually spoil your own your own show. But what should White do right now? Looks like the best move. The best move is extraordinary. The best move in this position is King H1. <laughs> like, for real. For real. It's extraordinary. You got to love moves like him. King H1, you're telling Black that Black is so tied up in knots that you, by bringing your rook, even bringing your rook to the file to pin my bishop, you're doing nothing. Nobody's scared of you. King H1. Like, seriously. King H1, best move. Best move on the chessboard, period. Now, it doesn't win by force, by the way. It doesn't win by force. Because bishop takes d4, black has very little moves. White is threatening queen h6, for real. So bishop takes, queen takes, and now black can actually centralize the queen and try to defend. White will not trade queens. Okay, not. The answer is not trade queens. White also, by the way, you might think, Rook takes works now because we're hitting the queen this time. Except, no, the rook's hitting your queen in this position. So queen takes queen, and you feel like a clown after this happens. So that doesn't work. But queen moves, threaten a little Matutsky, offer a trade, queen drops back, and that maneuver has given white a, a good position. But it's not like it's completely dead and over yet. White still has this rook on the seven. You can't move the rook to challenge it because of bishop e6. And this is a very severe, difficult position for black to play. Knight to e5, for example, hitting this queen, ooh, excuse me, hitting this rook, protected by the queen, hitting this rook can be met by, boom! Ooh, that was sexy. Mm, mm, that was nice. That was nice. Feel the perfume. You can't take that because you're pinned. You can't take that. Because you're pinned. So don't be making active moves and thinking you're getting away with it. Okay? Rook at five. Whoop! 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 Party move. Somebody play rook at five and you go, oh no. <laughs> Why did I let that happen? I'm feeling bad about my life. Okay? So that's what white should have done. King h1. But it's time for the Blunderifica sighting. Everybody wants to see a Blunderifica sighting, even Little Mo. Little Mo says, I want to see the Blunderifica sighting. Let's see it. What did White do? White played queen to h6 and smell the win. I got the win. I got the win. Who's going to defend? I got the win. I got the win. Who's going to defend? I got the win. Here we go. I got the win. Who's hit guarding h7? Of course, knight to f8. This is good. Loser alert. Loser. <laughs> Oops. Man, that's mess. That's a hot mess when Rook G7 lands on the board. And you can't take it because it's Matutsky. Or you can't play King to the corner because boom! Ouch. <laughs> bad man. Mommy's a bad man. You can't beat me up. All right. That's a beatdown. The problem is Black played this move. Check. Oh, no problem. I move my king. What? <laughs> what? What happened? I had a mate. I had a threat on G7. Maybe. No, you don't. I had a threat on H7. No, you don't. And it's over. It's over. It's done, son. Black just won a piece. White just blundered. Bishop D4. Check. And it's over. It's done. It's finished. That's why King H1 was important to play. It's over. It's done. It's finished. Until White decided, you know what? Let me just make one last move. It's messed up. I'm busted. I might just play Bishop E6. Yeah, I'm just busted. It's messed up. <laughs> and instead of taking the bishop and just cleaning house black was like a queen it's a queen it's a queen let me take the queen and make him feel bad about his life let me take the queen and make him feel bad about his life until white said 
What? what do we have? Looky, looky. What do we have here? Double check. <laughs> I can't believe it happened. Like, how many times can you win the lottery? Bing. Hello. Double check. Oh, no. Black is sitting here now with the queen in the hand. Black has the queen in the hand. You're one of those. You're about to put the queen down. Nobody feels bad for you either. Nobody feels bad. Matter of fact, everybody's laughing. Everybody's laughing. <laughs> How can Black take the queen? <laughs> oh my God. This is a real game. It's happening in a real game. Black took the. This is not a bullet game, okay? This is not a bullet game. This is over the board. Black said, I got the queen and got hit with a double check. Can't move because it's mate. Yo, yo, Blunderificus. This is rough. This is rough. Black was not a GM. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not going to talk about Black being no, no. Of course not. No, of course not. This is not what happened. But, but seriously, I don't care what you are. He just took the queen and got mated. A blunder river. Because somebody get a therapist. <laughs> you know, after this, you get it. Yo, you took, you, you, took, you took the bishop with check. You saved the position by bringing your queen over. And then on the next move, the guy Saxon Bishop, all you gotta do is just take. Just take it. Just, just take the bishop. Just take it. Just take the bishop. White has nothing. White is just donated, okay? How do you fathom taking this and thinking, I don't see any decent discoveries anywhere? What is White planning in this position? allowing this to happen in a real game it's the stuff that dreams are made of and that's a blunderific sighting if you ever saw one if you want to see more of these videos don't forget to click the subscribe button and please follow me on twitch.tv slash gmash